We have seen smart locks emerge in recent years, often replacing traditional deadbolt locks, but I haven't seen any smart locks for exterior gates, such as for the backyard door or even for non-deadbolt locks. So I decided to pick up various electronic door strikes and integrate them with the smart home platform. In my case, smart things to control my gates and doors. This is an electric drop bolt that operates at 12 volts. When the lock is powered and the two pieces come together, the drop bolt extends and locks. This is a fail-safe lock, so when power is removed, it unlocks. It also has a built-in contact sensor, so it can recognize if a door is open or closed. To integrate this with my home automation platform, I simply need a relay device that will turn on and off power to the lock. This is an electronic deadbolt. It functions similar to the drop bolt, but it installs in the door frame. Hence, more discreet, but this also makes it more difficult to install. Lastly, this lock is designed for gates, but unlike the previous two, this lock will only unlock when power is applied, and also has the ability to be unlocked with a key. To control these locks, you can use your phone, but I also have an exit button on the inside and keypad on the outside for manual entry. These locks can be integrated with most smart home systems using a Z-Wave relay. But since I'm using the SmartThings platform, I decided to opt for a Wi-Fi board from Connected that allows me to connect a relay, push button, and other sensors to a low-cost board that communicates with SmartThings via Wi-Fi. Connected was initially designed to replace traditional alarm systems and integrate the sensors with a smart home platform. But it also has other key use cases, such as controlling relays for garages, sprinkler systems, and in my case, door locks. While the connected boards themselves are very reliable, keep in mind you're also reliant on your network and home automation platform. For instance, since I'm using SmartThing, it requires network connectivity, so if your network isn't reliable, you may consider using other local home automation platforms, such as Hubitat, which is another sub platform supported by Connected. Regardless, you would still want the ability to shut off power to the lock and another way to get in if something were to fail. I have been running my system for a year and haven't had any issues yet, but my network is very reliable with backup power and cellular backup. Here is an example of how your setup would be wired. The exact setup will vary for each setup, but essentially you'll have the power supply that powers the lock and connected board. The connected board itself has pins that go to the relay, the door contact sensor, and the exit push button. I will link additional information on the wiring setup. Here is the wiring for one of my door strikes, and here is another one where I tapped into my doorbell power supply to power the connected board and iris keypad. I'm also using a voltage converter to convert the 24 volt AC doorbell power to 5 volt DC. And I'm also powering two Nest Hello doorbells. Haven't had any power issues, but my doorbells aren't connected to any conventional chimes. Hence, the power requirements are significantly less. So here's the finished product. To exit, I simply press the button, which briefly shuts down power to the lock, unlocking the door. A few seconds later, power is restored, and when the door is aligned, it instantly locks. This lock also has a built-in contact sensor, so if I know if the gate is opened or closed. It also has been very reliable, and I spray-painted it to match the gate. On my wooden gate, the gap between the door frame is much greater, hence I needed a different solution. I added a contact sensor to determine if the gate is open or closed. It was spray painted to blend in. It has a similar setup with an exit button and I have everything stored in a weatherproof box. As mentioned earlier, this lock unlocks when power is applied and otherwise remains locked. To control both of these gates, I have an indoor keypad in a weatherproof enclosure. This keypad communicates with SmartThings via Zigbee and it's battery powered. However, I soldered a 3 volt power supply directly to the battery terminals to hardwire the setup so I'd never have to change batteries again. Haven't had any issues with this keypad. I have the same setup replicated for my other gate. This is the electronic drop bolt lock installed inside the door frame. It functions similarly to the other locks and also has a built in contact sensor. I have the keypad on the outside to toggle and unlock the door. And the door can be set to remain unlocked using my Amazon Fire tablet running action tiles or toggle unlocked with the door exit button. I also have the SmartThings outlets to repeat Zigbee signal for the keypads. Here's the interface in the SmartThings app. I have a 
various devices listed. As you can see, the lock control, the contact sensor, the keypad, and my push to release button. When the lock is pushed or toggled, I have it set to remain unlocked for 8 seconds. And I have the smart app to control and automate this lock. Action Tiles allows me to control the locks with the wall mounted tablets around the house. The Iron Gate control allows me to use the keypad to control my lock. I can specify the code and only allow certain codes to operate during certain modes. And I'm also using a built in automation app to toggle the lock when the lock release button is pushed. The actual connected boards can be managed using the connected smart app in the smart things app. I can use the device status and I can configure the things wired to each pin on the connected board. Please let me know if you have any questions and I'll have pricing and additional information in the description.